Hey! Hey, what? I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm on the ship! Bye, bye! No, I died! Hornets. They spawn after the death of a butler. The hornets cannot be killed. Every time they make contact with you, they deal 10 damage. Their power level, max spawned, and most common moon is the same as butlers. Circuit bees. They spawn on top of beehives. They cannot be killed. Their contact damage is 10. Their power level is 1. There can be a max of 6 on one moon, and they are most commonly found on March. Masked hornets only appear after killing a butler. They have two different states, a roaming state and a chasing state. In the chasing state, masked hornets have a rather slow speed of just 3 meters per second, significantly more easy to avoid than roaming bees. They patrol the inside of the facility with the default node searching method that most enemies use, with the search precision of 5 meters. This means that they search in a back and forth manner, checking off target nodes once they are within 5 meters of the node. Watch Alter Ego's Jester video for a great explanation of this. The Hornets do not have 360 degree vision, but actually have a line of sight on only one side that extends 180 degrees. However, this line of sight is only 4 meters long, making it fairly easy to avoid. Once a player enters the LOS of the Hornets, the chasing state begins. Hornets have a generic buzzing sound that will slowly increase in volume when they are chasing you, giving somewhat of an audio cue to run if you were facing away. The hornet's speed will also gradually increase while chasing, and the max speed is actually dependent on how many players are in the game. If there are any connected players, which just means anyone other than the host, the max speed is 5.4 meters per second. If you are playing a solo game, the max speed is 4.2 meters per second. Note that this is dependent on how many people are playing in your lobby, not how many people are alive or in the building. Masked Hornets will only switch targets if the target gets out of range of the line of sight, and another player enters. However, this switch is more immediate than something like the Giant with its stealth meter. It is worthy to note that the Hornets will start to speed up after chasing you for more than 3 seconds. After spawning, Hornets have a cooldown of 1.7 seconds before they can deal damage. The Masked Hornets also have a 0.5 second cooldown between hits. On contact with any entity, they have a built-in check to make sure they only deal damage to players, and not monsters. They will do 10 damage to you, killing you in 5 hits. The cause of death will be stabbing, just like if you were killed by the butler. Mask Hornets alone pose little threat, and are more of an annoyance, especially since they are slow and low damage. It is, however, difficult to bait them to an out-of-the-way area because of their tendency to give up. They are most dangerous in large packs that can get in the way and overwhelm you, or by chipping away at your health while trying to gather or move loot. For this reason, try to lure them away slightly before running straight at the butler's knife. Normally, you could outrun them, but moving heavy loot items can be extremely difficult if they are around because it makes you so slow. The best counter is to avoid them spawning by waiting to kill the butlers until you are about to leave. Another option, if you have a lot of butlers becoming aggressive, is to kill them all with an easter egg or knife quickly near main or the fire exit and then rotate outside to the other entrance away from the mass of hornets. They will take a lot longer to rotate to the other end of the map and find you than butlers would. Hornets are easier to deal with in mansion maps than facility because they generally have more open rooms and halls. However, you can jump over hornets when cornered. You can also lure them to one side of the hall and then sprint around them on the opposite side. Doors are your best friend with hornets as they take a very long time to open them, which buys you a lot of time to loot or get far away. Before we move on to circuit bees, I just wanted to say thank you to Mater for going through the code behind these entities and give him a sub. Also join our discord community and hit that sub button if you haven't already. Here's a riddle. Which came first, the bee or the hive? Circuit bees have an interesting start mechanic where they spawn first and then immediately trigger a beehive to spawn next to them. This is why you can see how many beehives there are on the map by quickly scanning just as you begin landing the ship. 
and then scanning a second time to see the difference in item count. For the bees to consider the hive placed in line of sight, it must not be in the player's hands, and it must be within 9 meters, with nothing blocking the bee's vision of it. This is smaller than the bee's line of sight for players, which we will see. The bees have three main states, a defensive state, an intermediate targeting state, and an aggressive state. In the defensive state, the bees check if they are within 2 meters of the hive. If they are not, they move to the last known hive position at a speed of 4 meters per second. While defensive, the bees have a full 360 degree range of sight extending for 16 meters that checks for players significantly larger than mass coronets. The bees enter the targeting state when a player comes within the 16 meter radius and they have a chase speed of 6 meters per second. However, if the player is labeled as not targetable or greater than 5 meters from the hive, then the bees will instantaneously go back to the defensive state, meaning chasing only really activates within 5 meters. If the target player is holding the hive, they will enter the aggressive state, starting by chasing the player with an extremely high speed of 10.3 meters per second. Alternatively, Circuit bees will enter their aggressive state if three conditions are all met that make them determine the hive to be missing. A. The bees are within 4 meters of the last known hive position, or within 8 meters with no obstructions in line of sight between them and the last known position. B. The hive is more than 6 meters from the last known position. C. The hive is held by a player or is not placed in line of sight, 9 meters from bees without obstruction. Once in the aggressive state, if the bees see anyone, they will map the target player's position constantly similar to giants. Their line of sight remains 360 degrees and 16 meters. If they lose sight of you, they search your last recorded location for four and a half seconds. After that, they begin roaming around the map, cycling through nodes at the same high speed. If they find you, they will most likely kill you. The bees will leave the aggressive roaming state upon finding the hive placed in line of sight again, and will then decide to defend the hive again or enter the targeting state if a player is nearby. However, they won't stray far from the hive and won't be as fast as in the aggressive state. Circuit bees will perform their zapping behavior differently for each of the three states they enter with more rapid zaps in more aggressive states. They also have a special fourth zap animation when performing an attack. These zaps all seem to be purely audio slash video effects though. From a mechanical perspective, bees must wait 0.4 seconds between attacks, but will do 10 damage per hit, killing you in just 5 seconds, just like hornets. They will also automatically kill you if you are in critical health. The best way to deal with bees is to avoid them going into roaming by making sure they can always find their hive. This means it is actually worse to team up to gather beehives, because the circuit bees will be led further away from the hive by the player acting as bait, and will likely start roaming. Locking the hive in the ship is also a bad idea. The best method is to loop around the hive alone and get the bees to chase you while you bring it to the back of the ship. Watch this video for an example. If they do begin roaming, it is critical to keep as far of a distance as possible since you won't be able to outrun them for long without a hive for them to stop at. I hope this video helps you, and if it did, please show some support.